Uncle Joey Weathers Bay in a museum. An original Yankee story by Mr. Charles Stewart. Made for the Columbia Phonograph Company of New York and Paris. <laughs> well, sir, the other day I was walking along down the street when I come to some theater or playhouse or some kind or other. Well, I stopped to look at it and I noticed where it said it only cost 10 cents to go in. I allowed I might just as well go in and see it. Well, I hadn't been in there over five minutes, I don't suppose, before I made myself the laughing stock of the whole crowd. I noticed a fella sitting there getting his boots black. He looked to me like a friend of mine from upstate. Well, now, I knowed he wasn't no city chap the way he was dressed. And there was a doggone little pickpocket trying to pick his pockets. He had his bandana handkerchief out and was just about to get his pocketbook. Well, I didn't want to see him get robbed, so I went up to him. I said, look out, mister. You're getting your pockets picked. Well, everybody commenced to laugh. Uh, I looked around to see what they were laughing at, and he wore no man at all. Nothing, only a doggone old wax figure. <laughs> I went on in to where they were having the show, and I got shot down, and... Fella come out on the stage and sung an old-fashioned song I hadn't heard in about 25 years. And it done me good to hear it once again. It went something like this. All bound round with old in spring. All bound round with old in spring. Oh, white hat in an old broad brim. And all bound round with old in spring. All bound round with old in spring. All bound round with old in spring. Oh, white hat in an old broad brim. And all bound round with old in spring. <laughs> <laughs> well, sir, they had a parrot in that place, and the way he stuttered and jabbered and talked, he was a whole show all to himself. Well, I bought one of them birds from a fella one time, paid him five dollars for it. He said it was a good talker. I took it home, had it a long time, and it never said a word, but it done some of the deepest thinking I ever seen a bird do. Well, I put in about three months trying to get him to say Uncle Joyce, and he wouldn't, and I got mad at him one day, took him by the nap of the neck and threw him out in the barnyard among the chickens and left him there. Well, when I went out the next morning, I'll tell you, there was a sight. Half of them chickens were dead, and the rest of them were scared to death, and that parrot had an old rooster up again in the barn, just giving him an awful whipping, and every time he did him, he'd say, now you say Uncle Joyce, guys, darn you, you say Uncle Joyce. <laughs>